how to connect MailChimp to Wix website, MailChimp Integration 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're gonna be discussing on how you can go ahead and create a MailChimp account and connect it to your Wix website in the easiest, most simplest way possible. Okay, and we're gonna be talking about it in great depth. I'm gonna make a good Wix website website optimized enough to work with your MailChimp and I'm also going to show you how you can integrate it directly from your MailChimp if you want to. So yeah, just make sure to watch this video till the end and fully listen to all the details I have to provide you with because if you do that properly, then I guarantee you that by the end, you're going to fully know how to integrate both of these amazing features and things for your Wix website. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now, what you're going to want to do is obviously you already have a set it up MailChimp. Now, once you have a fully set it up MailChimp from here on out, what you're going to do is you can either go ahead into integrations down here from your dashboard. Now, once you go in integrations, as you can see, you have tons and tons of integrations like Shopify, Zapier, Facebook, WooCommerce, Squarespace, etc. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on browse all integrations. Okay. Now, once you do that, obviously, as you can see, it opens the MailChimp marketplace and you're going to go on try an app name and you're going to just write Wix and now you're going to enter. OK, now, once you enter, obviously, as you can see in this store, it does not give you Wix. Why is that? Because Wix does not directly integrate through MailChimp. So what do we do? In this case, what you're going to do is you're going to head over to Wix, okay? And obviously, we're going to go ahead to Wix.com, their website builder. And once you're in Wix.com, obviously, there, as you can see, I'm going to head straight into my dashboard. Now, once you're in your Wix dashboard over here, what we're going to be doing, okay, is first of all, you're going to have to make sure that, you know, I'll, obviously, you have a good, fully set it up, updated website with a good Wix plan going on for yourself. Now, once you have done that for yourself, what you're going to do from there on out is you're going to head over to the application channel. OK, so you can just come up here on search for tools. OK, and you can, you know, go on the Wix integrations or something like that, or you can just directly write mail. OK, and once you do that here, you can see down here, it gives you MailChimp things. So obviously what we're going to do, I'm going to head over to the app market and over here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start finding MailChimp for ourselves. OK, and it's really amazing to integrate your MailChimp with your Wix because like there's endless possibilities of, you know, features and things that you can do using your MailChimp. So obviously we're going to go ahead and write MailChimp. And as you can see, it opens up MailChimp for you. Now, obviously, there's different things that you can do with your MailChimp. OK, so there you have MailChimp forms. OK, and uh like obviously the creator is called MailMunch, so you can just go ahead and write MailMunch. Let's write that. And obviously the, the, the user MailMunch is going to give you all the different MailChimp integrations. And as you can see, you can either do MailChimp email marketing or in MailChimp forms. Okay. So obviously just go ahead and connect them directly. Now you can see MailChimp email marketing with Poco. Now, if I were to add this to my site, let's say, you know, just uh, go ahead. Obviously, as I said, you're going to have to make sure to have an upgraded plan. But once you add this feature to your site, you're going to get all the MailChimp features. And obviously, it's going to be fully integrated. So as you can see, connect your Wix website to MailChimp with a few easy clicks. Connect newsletter subscribers from all existing Wix pop-ups, embedded forms, and checkout processes. Launch email automations like an abandoned cart. Welcome and re-engage your customers integrates with all Wix services, including stores, bookings, events, pricing plans, subscriptions, and more. MailChimp's all-in-one marketing platform makes it really easy to build and execute multi-channel marketing campaigns that drive your sales. MailChimp integrations by Poco actually offer a simple and comprehensive integration of your Wix website with MailChimp. MailChimp is a third-party service that actually requires a subscription, and the free plan is also available that you can go ahead and use. And obviously, connect your shop to MailChimp with like one click, as I showed you. Now, customize the easy-to-use app pop-up window to sign up new subscribers who visit your website, or use a more advanced Wix pop-up and sign-up form using the MailChimp landing page and sign-up form integration. And use any of the embedded Wix forms to collect subscribers and automatically send them to your default MailChimp list or to specific lists. You can also select which contact fields will be sent to MailChimp and Wix labels get converted to MailChimp tags. Now, cart abandonment information as well as order information from stores, events, bookings, and pricing plans 
pins, subscriptions, more are sent to your MailChimp. And you can also sync all your existing contacts with your MailChimp, including any custom fields. And also sync existing order information with MailChimp to allow for advanced email segmenting, win back, and birthday reminders. You know, really simplistic, really easy and minimalistic stuff. And obviously you can do the same as I told you with your MailChimp forms. This is obviously to create forms uh, that was for your email marketing. And, you know, email marketing is really necessary when it comes to your websites and your website could be about anything. Most importantly, like if it's an online store, then like MailChimp is necessary because online stores need email marketing for them. And what better thing to do that email marketing other than MailChimp, you know? And then you can see more stuff like MailChimp forms by MailChimp overview, you know, pop up embedded forms. Uh, you have, uh, you know, tons and tons of uh, more things like, uh, you know, landing pages, automated welcome emails and, you know, a whole lot more. And then obviously you can see down there in their description, you know, MailChimp forms by MailMunch provide the proper tools that you actually need to grow. OK, and those growing tools are j just a good thing for your page. The growing tools are just a good thing to run with your page. And it's just an amazing thing to have. And uh, you can obviously see more things, you know, beautiful MailChimp form design, select from a variety of form types, including pop ups, scroll boxes and, you know, a whole lot of more things. And you can see designed to maximize conversions, get discount coupons, page level targeting, entry exit technology and analytics and a whole lot more. So as you can see, it's really easy and simple. Just go on your Wix and choose these little simple integrations. And even then, if you still have the issue, like you want the full suite of integrations uh, or the full suite of features, then what you can do is you can use, you know, automations and you can use automations using Zapier. So what Zapier does is it basically connects to programs. So let's say if like someone does a feature on your Wix store, what Zapier will, will do is it will trigger your MailChimp that, hey, something happened on the Wix store, time to start, you know, your email marketing or, you know, stuff like that. So basically, yeah, Zapier is a good option, but obviously that's not like a good feature in my opinion, because Zapier is like a third party platform and I'd like to keep it inside the whole you know feature like i'd like to keep it inside wix and mailchimp so that's the way i told you and uh, yeah i hope you found this helpful so yeah that's about it so if you found this helpful please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know down in the comments below and i will be making more for you and furthermore if you didn't understand anything let me know down in the comments below and i'll you know make sure to tell it to you as soon as i can but yeah that's about it thank you for watching this video till the end that's all from me and i hope you all have a great day